Today, I'll be ranking the top 5 best tsundere anime girls. This was a tough list to make considering there are many cliche, terrible tsundere anime girls out there. Number 5 on my list is Mikoto from A Certain Magical Index. She does yell and even attack the main character at times with her special ability, but it never really annoyed me. The reason being is that she always had an embarrassed look on her face and you can see her blushing a lot. There is a difference between an angry tsundere character that looks at the main character in disgust and a tsundere character whose face is bright red, and you can tell she feels shy around the main character. Her interactions with Toma were funny and entertaining to watch. Number 4 on my list is Kurisu from Steinsgate. She can be a bit annoying to watch at first for yelling, especially in the first half of the show. But what makes her so great was the second half of the show, where she just went to over how sport she was with Okabe. When Okabe was going through his darkest moments, she was there to help support him, and help him move forward in life. She knew just the right words to motivate Okabe and keep him going in life. She helped him come up with a plan to save everyone. She is one of the most helpful Sunder characters. Not only that, she is so likable as a character because of the amount of trust she puts in Okabe. Even if Okabe tells her the most ridiculous time travel story, she will believe him. No matter how far out there it is, she will always be there to support him. That's really what you want in life. A person that will always be there by your side and believe in you. Number 3 on my list is Shauna from Shakugan no Shauna. She is often compared to Taiga and Louise because these characters are voiced by the same voice actor. But I always find her more likable in comparison to the other two. Even though she says idiot idiot a lot to Yuji, you can see how embarrassed and shy she is while saying it. And her young on him doesn't feel that annoying. But what makes her such a great Sunari character is that she realizes her love for the main character and actually pursues him. Too many times Sunari characters are too stubborn to admit their love towards the main character. They send mixed signals and really makes the romance feel frustrating. But with Shauna, she pursues Yuji a lot, wants to hang out with him, and even tells him she loves him at the end of season 1. She is very aggressive and won't let any girl take Yuji away from her. Season 3 was her trying to make a future where Yuji and her can live happily ever after. She knows what she wants and pursues it. She doesn't let her shyness get in the way of love. Number 2 on my list is Tosaka from Fate Stay Night. She is easily the most attractive girl on this list in terms of looks. Her character design looks really good. Even though she gets angry at Shiro a lot, it's usually because of the dumb decisions he makes. I'm sure many of us can understand since we all know how frustrating Shiro is as the main character. When Shiro isn't doing anything dumb, she acts rather reasonable and has more of a laid back personality. I like how smart she is and how she can come up with great strategies for everything. She has her great moments where she teases Shiro and makes him feel embarrassed. The moments where she is shy and embarrassed is more satisfying than anything else because she is usually serious and always looking to get ready for the next battle. So to see her have an embarrassed look on her face is such a memorable moment. Number 1 on my list is Stella from Chivalry of a Failed Knight. I went back and forth on this multiple times. It's like Tosaka is very attractive, even more than Stella in terms of looks. But I just like Stella more because of her loving personality. Face Day Night Unlimited Blade Works was more focused on the plot and fight scenes, so I didn't really focus enough on showing the loving side of Tosaka. Stella had the best character development from Sundere to Dear Dear. Early on, I couldn't stand Stella as a character. She was as cliche as it gets for a Sundere character and said all the typical Sundere lines you hear in anime. It was just so boring to watch. But once there was a development between her and the main character, she learned to get over her shyness and started to act like a loving girlfriend. All of that annoying behavior was gone. She instead wanted his attention and wanted to be the perfect girlfriend for him. She was fine with the main character being very close to her, and even with him seeing her body. She was the one to actually initiate the intimacy, which was a major shock considering how shy and embarrassed Sunder characters are. The turnaround was shocking. You do not usually see Sunder characters get this great character development. I was expecting her to continue being an annoying Sunder character even after she became the main character's girlfriend because usually Sundari characters are static characters that never change and always act the same. 
She chilled out a lot, though, and acted like a caring girlfriend instead. 